What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Liam and in today's video, I will be talking about the top 3 mistakes that people make when they are bulking. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. First bulking mistake is that you are not eating enough calories. So when you are trying to bulk up, gain weight, gain size, you have to eat a lot of calories, especially for a skinny guy. And normally for those skinny guys or for those people who are bulking for the first time, you guys have a very, very small appetite compared to what you should be eating every single day. So if you are first trying to um, bulk up, try to increase your appetite. Eat as many food as you can, as many meals as you can. And for most of the people out there, including me, myself, most of the time, I think that I have been eating enough calories to hit my daily macros. But it, the fact is that I am nowhere near my target calories when I'm trying to bulk up if I don't ever track my calories. So a very um, easy approach to solve this problem is that to track your calories. Yes, it might feel like pretty tedious for you to count your calories for every single meal and track the food you eat every day, but trust me, it's a part of the process and if you stick to the process, if you stick to the routine of counting your calories every single meal, you will see fast and good results. So before moving on to the second mistake, I just want to say that if you guys have any um, problems when it comes to workouts, training or nutrition, you guys need some tips or extra motivation, you guys can DM me, feel free to DM me on any kind of social media platform and I will be giving off free workout tips, free motivation, free nutrition tips for you guys, for all of you guys out there. So don't hesitate to contact me if you have any problems. So mistake number two that you guys make when you are bulking is that your workout program is weak. So if you are trying to um, gain muscle, gain strength, and get bigger, you should um, be focusing on building up strength and focus on progressive overload in your workouts. So what you should do is take up uh, some sort of strength program like a strong lift 5x5 program or any sorts of power lifting program that will make you stronger because the stronger you are, the more easier for you to lift more weights and build more muscle over time. And another aspect about training is that um, focus on compound movements. So when you first start your workout, for your first two or three exercises, um, try to incorporate compound movements, either barbell or dumbbell exercise. And after that, then you can fill up the rest of your workouts with isolation or, uh, or machine exercises. Don't be the, the ones who first start out their workouts with tons of uh, machines or isolation exercises because you need um, those compound movements to help you build muscle, to help you overload those muscles because you can lift more weight in compound movements. And then after your compound movements, um, add some more volume in, add some more rep and sets to your muscles with machines or isolation exercises. Now mistake number three, and the biggest mistake I see in um, people who are bulking is that they are afraid to gain fat. So when you are eating more calories, you are um, also going to be gaining extra weight. And honestly, uh, most of those extra weight are going to be fat. Only a little portion of that is going to be muscle. So if you are trying to um, gain muscle 
and avoiding to gain any single pound of fat, that is totally impossible. So what you should do is trust the process. Just think of it as a give and take process. If you want to gain muscle, gain strength, get bigger and stronger, you have to gain some fat in order to um, provide your body with energy to go through certain workouts. And if touch wood, if you really get very fat, okay, and you feel you feel uncomfortable in your own skin after you bulk, anywhere down the road, you can still go into a fat loss phase and try to lose those extra fat that you've gained when you are bulking. And trust me or not, when you and your bulk with a higher body fat percentage, and you go into a fat loss phase with a slightly higher body fat percentage, you will see better results when after you lose those weight, lose those extra fat. So that's all for this video guys. Hope you guys like this video. Hope whatever I said makes sense for you to you guys. If you guys find this video interesting or helpful, um, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, who are also bulking, um, comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you guys in my next video. Peace. If you won't give it to me, I'ma take it.